This is a great example of circuit simplification. Here we have a capacitor circuit, and we're going to take it down using the series and parallel rules in order to better understand it. So let's first understand what we mean by series and parallel, when we can use it, and things like that. Let's take a look at this 6 and this 12. At this 12, if I go through this 12, I don't have to go through this 6. I could also go through this 10. So 12 and 6 are not in series. But also, if I go through this 12, I can go through this 6. It's not a 1 or the other, so they're not in parallel. So we can't do any rules right now with this 12 and this 6, but we can take a look over here with this 6. If I go through this 6, I have to then go through this 6, and I have to then go through this 6. So what we are saying is that these three are in series. And so what we can do is we can draw the entire rest of the circuit, and we're going to draw some pretty ugly circuits, so get ready for it. And the rest of our circuit is going to be unchanged except for, right, our equivalent circuit is going to just be a single capacitor now. So we're saying that all three of these can be written instead as just this one equivalent capacitor, which we know from our rules is going to be 1 over 6 microfarads, millifarads, sorry, 1 over 6 millifarads plus 1 over 6 millifarads. And then we need to take it to the minus 1. It reminds us, right, that the units will work out that way. Well, we all have a nice denominator, common shared denominator of 6, so 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3, so we would get 3 over 6 millifarads to the negative 1, or we can write this as 2 millifarads. So then we're kind of back to where we started. We can kind of fill this out, right? We've got a 12, a 12, a 10, a 6, a 4, and a 6. And we want to find out what's in series or what's in parallel simply with itself. Well, again, we have a lot. The 12 and the 6, for example, still aren't in series or in parallel because they have both options. But now we can look at these two. And these two, I can either go through the 4 or the 2. If I go through the 4, I exclude the 2. If I go through the 2, I exclude the 4. So these are in parallel. And so parallel adds simply, this is going to be a lot easier than the series one, 4 millifarads plus 2 millifarads. Well, that's pretty easy. That gives us 6 millifarads. And so we can choose to write, do the math first and then draw the circuit, do the circuit first and then draw, uh, do the math. So in this case, I've done the math first. And then when I redraw this circuit, right, it's going to get easier every single time, which is always nice. So, right, my 6 and my 12 up here are unchanged. My 12 and my 6 down here are unchanged. My 10 is unchanged. But now this, instead of being 2, is 6 millifarads. And we can kind of come back to what we did back here. And we can see that, again, that we have these three in series. So in fact, it's the exact same calculation. So I'm going to go a little bit faster with this one. We'll just, right, and then we get two millifarads. So redrawing this circuit, now we're getting in the home stretch a little bit. So we have this is uh, two. We have this is 10, this is 12, and this is 12. All right, only so much more to go now because now we have, again, this 10 and this 2 are in parallel. So we have our C equivalent is 10 millifarads plus 2 millifarads, easy enough, 12 millifarads. And so we can start drawing this a little bit nicer. We'll get a little bit of pens. And of course, we chose numbers such that everything works out a little bit nicer for ourselves. But then we have 3 12 millifarads. Well, the 3 12 millifarads, easy enough to see, they're all in series with each other. So I can redraw this just as a single circuit with a single capacitor. And 1 over 12 plus 1 over 12 plus 1 over 12 is, uh, and we'll show it, right, 3 over 12 to the minus 1 gives us 
four millifarads. And so then we can have 36 volts and four millifarads. Once we have this, then any sort of capacitor rules go really, really quickly, really, really easily. You can say, right, delta V of the capacitor equals Q over uh, C. We know C of the entire thing is then four, so we could right, find that the charge is gonna be four times 36, which is 108. Or what we can do is we can also um, do other math once we have and then build back up with that. But this is just to show the uh, series and parallel rules, and we'll do more in later.